There may be a situation where you find yourself needing to fabricate a restoration on an implant abutment that is already seated in the patient's mouth. Typically, this is much easier if it is a custom abutment and the margin placement is ideal. This is because when acquiring a scan on an implant abutment, it is important to identify and capture the margins of the abutment. Think of it as if you are scanning a preparation for a full coverage crown. If gingival tissue is covering the margin of the abutment, you must retract the tissue exposing the margin. In an ideal situation, the abutment's margin is either equigingival or slightly subgingival for aesthetic reasons. To expose a subgingival margin, cord can be gently placed to retract the tissue during the scan. In the first acquisition, we tried scanning the abutment without gingival retraction, and as you can see, it is hard to visualize the margin all the way around the abutment. On our second scan, we placed retraction cord, and after five minutes, the cord was removed and the scan was captured. When the tissue is displaced, the margin of the abutment is easily identified. Be sure to check the post-processing scan to ensure the margin, the body of the abutment, and the adjacent contacts are clear and clean, ensuring that the laboratory will have all the information they need to fabricate a well-fitting and functional restoration.